Uh, I like to read a lot of books. Uh, my favorite author is Shakespeare uh, because uh, most of his books are very famous and we learn it, we learn it in year 11 too. Yeah. Uh, it's a bit difficult, uh, first of all, but if you read it like twice or three times again, you understand it more. So mm -hmm. like basically for like um, ESL student, I'm not ESL, but uh, English is not my first language. So um, I read like two or three times, we read the books and we understand more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of different books I like to read. For My favourite if I have time is historical fiction because I find that you get a story and you get history at the same time so it's not as dry as reading a normal history book and it's entertaining. So that's my favourite type but I also read loads of other books like well, you know, meditation and just learning in general. And, but I can't read all serious books, you have to read a bit of humour. I would say read at least 45 minutes a day, okay? Because reading can increase vocabulary skills and you're going to be needing it in year 12 since you're going to be reading a lot. You're going to be reading four novels. I mean, at least five articles that you're going to be analysing and it's all to do with language. So if you have that vocabulary skill, like you're going to be really, you're going to ace it. You're going to ace year 12. Um. It's like to read the books that you enjoy, like reading the, choosing the books that, which is appropriate for you and that you enjoy, then you get a lot out of it. Thank you very much. One of the things that I have really recognised over the years, particularly as a teacher, um, looking back on my life, is that I wasn't a real strong reader uh, back in my 15, 16, 17 years of age. Um, I read and was a competent reader, but I really didn't take a strong interest. But I now look back at that and think that um, those years were really important years and I should have done more in my reading because I, I now realise that how important those sort of things are in terms of my role now. Um, and in terms of my role as principal working with kids in their reading, um, I realised that in my time, if I had have had someone and teachers working with me as much as what teachers do here at this school, I think I would have developed a far greater enjoyment. So um, I encourage every one of you as students to ensure that um, you regularly read and, and focus on books that you enjoy because certainly in the years to come it will um, it'll certainly help you in your work in future years. I haven't always been a huge reader and it's something that I've only really developed the patience and the skill and the interest in I'd say really in the last two years or so so I actually feel like I identify with a lot of the young people at this school who don't have that natural motivation to read books and wouldn't consider themselves as bookworms because I wouldn't consider myself as a bookworm however I will stress the point that it's very important to choose books that you have a genuine interest um, in regards to the topic because that's that for me is the key. Well for me I think reading is a, the only opportunity in the whole time in your world when you get to go inside someone else's head and, and experience their sense of reality because if you watch a film it's still the director's sense of reality it's still what they perceive it to be whereas when you read a book you you create your imagination it's from your perspective and it's a wonderful opportunity to feel different emotions and try on different lives without having to actually live them. You should read Middle School The West Years of My Life because it's a fun, funny comedy. You should read Divergent because it's an action and a thriller book. You should read Twilight because it's a horror and a romance, romance book all together. You should read Weirdo because it is, has a sense of humour and it is funny. You should read Weirdo number two because it's weirder and funnier. You should read Vampire Academy because it's about a young girl who loves life. As a teenager, I read Michael Crichton's books like Jurassic Park and his other books about uh, like Outbreak and, and books like that. Mm. Do you know those ones? Yeah. Yeah, I read them. Did you read any classics? Uh, I probably started a lot of classics, but I don't think I finished a lot when I was a kid. 